everybody. This is Michael Julia, Director of Institutional Sales here at Das Trader. I've been a longtime trader for the past 22 years, and I'm showing you how to configure your Das trading software for trading. And today, I'm going to cover a topic that everybody likes, advanced charting. Now, this is a layout that I configured last time. It's available if you uh, contact uh, support or uh, contact us through uh, the comments section and you're interested in getting this layout it is designed for a uh, Microsoft Surface laptop uh, the bigger Microsoft Surface laptop and um, I would like to just uh, point out that this um, this layout uh, has already been pre-configured okay and I'm just going to show you what that means real quickly um, just so we don't have to go into it again but if I type in the, the SPY notice all of our charts for the SPY come up but let's just say you wanted to make these charts a little fancier than the normal charts. And, and this is my normal chart layout, just price candles with volume candles down here at the bottom, price candles over here, moving averages. And I'm going to put this on in the five minute chart just so we can look at it. Okay. This, let's go to the 15 minutes just so you can see how it changes the 30 minute. So price with moving averages is a very, very standard configuration. Now notice I also have the pre and post market data on here because now we're into the post market. But let me show you what happens if I take this and I right click and I go to add chart area after. Now we get this nice new clean section here on the bottom. Okay, and I'm gonna right click in here and I'm gonna go study configure. And the next thing I'm gonna add here is the MACD. And I'm gonna be doing a lot of these individual sessions just explaining these various different um, tools that we use as technical analysts. Okay, so here I just added the MACD. Now some people, many, many people that I know, love to make the MACD, okay? They make the MACD blue, okay? And there you go, you have a MACD with a moving average on there, okay? And you've now got it on your chart. Now let's just say I wanna take this, and I want to get rid of the volume box. I'm going to get rid of the volume box. So let's just go to chart area, remove area. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to study config. I'm going to add volume on this section of the chart. Okay, so now I have my volume bars overlapping on my actual chart area. Now, some people find that really, really distracting. Um, and some people like it, you know, that it shows real convergence between volume and price. So it's really up to you, but I can very easily get rid of that. If I want to get rid of that, I just go to study config, get rid of the volume bars, remove, commit, and it's gone. Voila. Now look at this. I could also just add a very small new chart area after, right? Because it puts it down here. And I'm going to add study config. I'm going to add my volume right back in here okay so study config i've added my volume back in here so now i have my moving average convergence divergence there on the bottom okay and i'm going to make that a little bit bigger so we can see it. it's not so squished up notice how i just drag it now i can make my volume a little bit bigger now let's just say i want to get really crazy and i i don't really suggest that you get this crazy okay but we could do it we're going to do we're going to add chart area before. Now I've added the chart area before, I'm gonna go study config, and I'm gonna do my CCI, my commodity channel index, which is very good for swing trading. Okay, so the commodity channel index, you can see the, the signal areas where it's deeply overbought, okay, deeply oversold and you should buy it, or deeply overbought and you should sell it. So those are, that's the color configuration that we have going on here. now. I'm going to also configure this. No, everything looks good. There's nothing for me to change here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go study config, double click. I have this on the eight, which is fine. The normal line is fine. Uh, buy signal, sell signal. We could change the normal to blue if you want. Okay, so now that changes it to blue and it kind of brings, I'm going to make it a little bit of a lighter blue. I'm going to go to study config and I'm going to change it to a lighter blue. 
Okay, so there we go. So now I have my CCI and I have my price data and I have my volume data and I have my MACD. And if I want to make these a little bit bigger, remember that the key to making these a little bit bigger, you don't want to take up too much space on your chart. You want to make, leave the majority of your space on your chart for just price and volume. And the, the other indicators are confirming indicators. They're like uh, confirmation signals. They filter out data. So here I'm making this a little bit bigger. And now here I have my bottom MACD a little bit bigger as well. Okay, and I have a beautiful chart. Now I'm gonna save this layout, save settings. Save settings, which is MJD, CCI, Mac D. CCI Mac D chart. Now, generally speaking, okay, I'm gonna just save that chart. Now, generally speaking, when I do a chart like this, okay, I am not doing it for any other time frame but the daily. So I wanna see the daily level. So like, and I, I wanna show you like here today, we're getting deeply overbought on the CCI. So that's like the start of a swing down. Here we're also getting, you know, the MACD is kind of not giving us any signal at all, but, uh, but we are deeply overbought on the CCI, okay? And that is usually a telltale signal that maybe we're gonna come back in a little bit and, and the market will come back down. So here we had a very deeply oversold value. And of course that was a great buy area. Here you have the CCI, okay, with a, um, with a high and then a higher high. And then you have this in a deeply overbought area and it came back down. And a lot of times traders that are swing trading are really, look at that deep, see on the CCI here, how deeply oversold. Now God, thank God you didn't buy it here. But if you see here, we are very, very, we have a divergence where we're making higher lows on the CCI and it's making new lows on the actual price chart. So that's a very, very strong buy signal right here. You see that how it has three and I could draw a trend line on here to the, the charts on the DAS trading software are really very, very powerful. Because look, I can even take this, draw a trend line on this and you can see that the trend is divergent, meaning that the trend from here to here, that trend is clearly divergent. This CCI is going up, whereas this price data and new lows is clearly making new lows. And here we actually have the crossover and this is your real signal that you have all three technical indicators confirming. Okay, we have all three technical indicators confirming. We have a crossover of the moving average and we have the reversion back of the MACD oscillator. The oscillator has revert, returned back to polish, positive or back to bullish. Does everybody see that we now have three indications this is usually done, this kind of analysis is usually done on your daily chart. Now I'm just gonna pop it for shits and giggles. I'm sorry about that expression. And we get in trouble for that one probably. But uh, I'm gonna just pop it onto the, onto the weekly. And, uh, and you can see on the weekly we have again that deeply oversold area. You have a deeply oversold area here. You have a deeply oversold area here. You have the reverting back up into the positive or neutral line on the oscillator. You have the strong reversion back to the mean on the price volume data, but the real signal is that deeply oversold and now opportunity to buy indicated by the green. Um, so both the daily and the weekly confirm that this was a great area. Now, the one thing everybody always says about technical analysis, technical analysis always works great in hindsight. But the thing is, is that what you want to, want to realize is what, that when these things close, they are really strong signals. A lot of very big money players are looking at these signals on a daily basis and on a weekly basis to try to find out really very important buy and sell points. Now, if you notice right here, we are at the, uh, the positive 100 level, which means that we're probably in a deeply overbought area. We're deeply overbought at 304. We kind of had a little bit of a rejection, some 
new news coming out as well. And of course we have, um, we'll see how it plays out, but, but it, there are a number of indicators. There's at least two indicators. I don't see anything on the MACD to indicate that we're gonna turn lower yet. The MACD tends to be more lagging, whereas the CCI tends to be more leading. So CCI more leading, MACD is a tertiary indicator, it's more lagging, okay? So there you have it. Um, and of course you could change these settings. So you could also go to study config. And right now I have this set at an eight, but many people also use the five. And if you do use the five, you can see that the actual indicator change, it gives you more false positives, okay? And more um, you know, chances for the, for, the, for the data or the signal not to be as strong. So I'm gonna leave this at eight just for the sake of, of good measure. Um, but I like the way my charts have come out. And uh, I, hope this, I hope you found this helpful, this little exploration into using the MACD with price volume and moving averages, as well as the CCI and how you configure it on your chart. You generally also don't wanna have more than one indicator above, and generally don't wanna have more than one indicator below. And I hope you found that helpful, and I'll see you at the next session. All the best. Thank you.